everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another 12 by 12 process video for you. This one is using the Boys Rule collection from Coco Vanilla Studios and um, you'll see there I've got two photographs of my son and I'm using the pre-cut um, cut file um, page that comes ready with those stars printed on and then the white outline stars on top as a cut file. Um, uh, this was before I really discovered uh, cut files and cutting them myself on my own machine um, and so what I've done there is I've got two photographs in 4 by 3 I've overlapped them ever so slightly and then I've backed them onto vellum um, before I started filming they were already stuck down um, primarily because they'd been put onto a different um, backing um, and I didn't like it um, so I tried them on this one um, and forgot I'd already put double sided sticky tape on the back so as I put them down, that's where they stayed. Um, so, I, But thankfully, uh, where I've put them is where I want them. And all I'm doing with this layout, it's so, so simple. Because it's a pre-cut sheet, it's already covered in the stars, it's already covered in splatter, it's already got the cut file on. All I'm doing is having a bit of fun with embellishments. And I'm going through everything I've got um, and embellishing it, basically. So I've used those two words, hello and awesome. Um, it's the, the pictures are of my son when he was little and he's, he's walking along um, a fallen tree um, and learning to balance so it was it, they're just lovely photographs and I, I really like them um, so all I'm doing is picking out different bits and pieces so I've picked out some frames I've picked out that star there in the middle and I've tucked a couple of little labels down the side of the photographs as well so I'm just basically playing around with all the embellishments I've got left. Um, when I purchased the Boys Rule collection, uh, it was the first collection I bought from Coco Vanilla Studio, and I did buy the die-cut pieces, the chipboard, I think there was a pack of die-cut labels as well, and I bought the paper pack. Um, I do wish I'd managed to get hold of the 6x8 paper pad as well um, now, um, but never mind, uh, I am enjoying all the uh, Coco Vanilla Studios collections as you'll see from some of my other videos. So um, I just pop out all the pieces there from that um, star that I've placed in the middle and then I'm just popping the words hello and awesome on some um, foam so that they pop off the page slightly and not everything's too flat. Um, I'm just tidying up the edges of that um, word awesome um, occasionally there's little pieces left in them you need to pop bits out I do have a pokey tool from, from Ranger from Tim Holtz um, that's really useful for doing that so I'm just doing the same to hello um, and then I've taken a couple of tags there from some of the cut apart sheets and I think yep yeah, I do I cut them in half and just took, took them in underneath the photographs around the top just to add a bit of extra interest. I mean, there's plenty going on on the page anyway, which is why this is such a simple layout. Um, it really did come together very, very quickly. And uh, in, in contrast to some of my other videos, I haven't had to speed this one up too much. Um, and you do pretty much get to see it at, at not, not ridiculously quick speed. Um, sometimes layouts can take me a long time. This one just didn't. Um, so I do um and ah about putting extra pieces on and then I decide um, for this particular layout that it doesn't need anything else um, and some of the pieces I was planning on putting on I end up sort of taking off and deciding no I don't need um, to add anything else this, there is so much interest added by those stars um, and it, but it does need that dimension like I said so I think um, Putting, putting some foam on the back of a couple of the elements is definitely worthwhile just to give it an extra bit of um, dimension. Um, the colours of this collection are also really, really complementary. Um, so you end up with um, everything just matching, um, which I really, really like. Um, I've, I've gone quite monochromatic recently, but on this one, um, as you can see, I've, I've, I've got all sorts of different colours. There's the yellows, there's the blues, there's the oranges, um, and it all works really well together. So all I'm doing now is using some wet glue, and I'm adhering all my uh, different pieces. Um, I used to be really worried about um, 
chopping up embellishments and changing them um, because oh no what if I didn't like them and I will tell you I've got a, a tub of embellishments where I've cut them up with the intention of using them and then not end up using them um, but it, it doesn't matter I think you have to make it work for your your layout and if it doesn't um, you're going to end up trying to force it on there or it's not going to work or and, and I just think actually you've got to make things work for what you're doing um, like that frame there I've cut I've cut a section off I've now got a section sort of left to use that I can tuck behind another photograph on another layout um, and I'm no longer scared to do that and I've had my fair share of disasters as well where things have gone completely wrong and I've ended up um, needing to either restart or or something and actually don't worry about it it, it happens um, all I'm doing now is adding that last little bit of dimension by putting some Nouveau drops on. I did get two colours of Nouveau drops out, but in the end I think I only used those blue ones. Um, and I always try to do them in clusters of three. I don't know why it is, but clusters of three always look better. And that star was just popping itself up there, so I'm going to stick that down. And that is pretty much the end of my layout. Um, Thank you ever so much for stopping by today. Like I said, this was a really simple one. It really didn't take very long at all. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope it inspires you to do some some really simple ones with just with a packet of embellishments uh, and, a, and a die cut, maybe uh, a cut file that just fit together and uh, make a nice, simple process. They don't always have to be really, really complicated. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like uh, my like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'd love to see you back here again soon. More videos on the way. See you soon. Bye.